it's Saturday the 22nd of November uh, to quarter to three Central European time. I just thought I'd switch on the charts and see what they were telling me. Um, after that, drop down through the thousand set and the bounce on the top of this set down here, uh, which ended up yesterday evening with a perfect finish on a 382 and on the 90 sets here and here. We now see that we have a little retracement. Now, typically we would expect the retracement to work on something smaller. It was working on the 382 on Friday. And now if we look at the 236, we see that it actually established itself on the top of the 236 and is now working up through it. It's also OK, it has been working up through the 90 here, but it's started to slow down. And we can expect to see it, yes, there it goes, working on to the 56 now as it slows. So what are we looking for? We're looking to find out where it's likely to stop before it makes a change on Monday. Now, I'm looking at the 5009 at the top of the 236 set as being a place where it could stop. Around 5009, we will also see on the 56, there'll be a corresponding similar number. We see 510 up there. Well, we've got 5007 there, so it'll probably go up to 5007. And on here, we have 5001 and 5014. So uh, let's see what happens on Monday. Um, uh, it'll be starting on Sunday, of course. Uh, but we'll go back to this on Monday and see where we are. Monday the 24th and the movement has started and as you can see it's hit that first barrier on the 236 and as we'd expect uh, when it hits a barrier it's going to slow down a bit and this is evidenced on the smaller charts here. On the 90 you can see that it was working quite nicely, well reasonably nicely on the 90 uh, but now it is very definitely working on the 56. You see it's just popped up to see that set. <clears throat> now it's settling down on this set. Here we are a little bit later. As you can see, the currency did bounce off that 236 line and it actually went through the next one as well. Uh, but don't worry, we're still expecting it to go up here. Uh, that's one of the beauties of the framework. Uh, the fact that it's actually bouncing down through these lines on the 236 actually confirms that we're still working on the 236, so we'll finish the set. Better and better, isn't it? Uh, we've been given an opportunity here to get the entire set. So uh, let's see what happens, I believe. I haven't looked yet, but I, I guess there's an announcement coming out very shortly that's driving this sudden move. So um, maybe let's have a look about 10 minutes after 10. It's 10 past 10 and we've had the bounce and it's now gone straight back up to that line. But what's interesting is if you notice the bounce happened on the top of that set on 90 bottom of that set on the 56 and look where it is on the 146 it's gone straight through the gap here so we might have it moving up on the 146 it'll probably take quite a long time to get to the top of this set but um, we're, we're starting on our way now so let's see how it develops there we are I've just got back from a bit of shopping while I was out we see that it actually hit the mark that we expected it to hit um, on the 236, just reached the top of that 146 set as expected. So this is a perfect example of the absolute Fibonacci framework working. In summary, I'd just like to say that on Sunday when I first looked at this chart and um, I suggested that it would go to this line, uh, that was before the week's calendar came out. I had no fundamentals to go on. I was just purely looking at what the framework was telling me. It's very simple, it's very clear, and it obviously got us the result that we wanted. 
it, in fact, it got us a better result because it, it actually ended up giving us the entire set. Now, the key to doing this is obviously to wait until you're absolutely certain that the trade is going to happen. Now, I didn't know at the time that there was going to be an announcement. Uh, announcements often cause the currencies to go in the other direction for a short time before it, they go up through the set. Uh, you can see that on many occasions. And so you really have to be uh, clear and present about what you're, you're going into and make sure that you're going into the trade when you know what is going to happen. For me, the time to get into this trade would have been at the bounce at the bottom here, 